I'm feeling a lot better, thanks to Taya's remedies. But she insists I rest. Jaha, witam wszystkich i z tej strony. Witamy po drobnej przerwie. Po krótkiej przerwie, która nam tutaj, no krótkiej w sumie, chyba trochę ponad tydzień mieliśmy przerwy. Wybaczcie, te pogody, to plus ten, ta, tak. Ta burza, te burze, te upały, plus to, że nagrałam trzy odcinki z gry bez audio. Eee, no to cóż, w trójkach się przydarzają rzeczy zazwyczaj jakiejś serii, prawda? <laughs> Ale już jesteśmy, gramy powoli dalej. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Taya has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. You survived, I know, but there as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I know. I still wish there was some other way. But griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Oczywiście, jak najbardziej przyniesiemy to trzeba. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh, thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Niebieski kwiat i kolce. Dobrze, poszukamy. Zium! Czy są tu jeszcze jakieś inne zadania dodatkowe? Widzę, że są. O, można coś odebrać. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Mhm. Mm Podobno to dzięki twoim ludziom szlaki są wolne od bestii i bandytów. W imieniu tych, którzy utrzymują się dzięki bezpiecznym przeprawom z targu na targ, dziękuję ci. I moje czokobu też. Zatroskany wędrowny kupiec. Medalion kleryka. You earned this. Dziękuję. Best of luck out there, Sid. Thank you, thank you. Widzę, że pomimo przerwy klatka aż dalej działa perfekcyjnie. Uh, ha. The little ones have been hey, hey. tricks again. Draw in on the Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that they know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? <sighs> Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I 
can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Interesująca sprawa z tym naznaczeniem. Ja myślałam, że to jest tylko i wyłącznie kwestia tatuażu, a to wygląda na to, że to nie tylko. Ha. Człowiek się uczy całą grę. Dobra, Jaskier. Zwykle pozytywnie. Wspomnieliście, żebym sobie zaglądała tutaj o ulepszenie mojego miecza. Wydawało mi się, że jak już zrobiłam na full. Eee, o. Ta dziewczyna to burza. Kracza, kiedy najmniej się tego spodziewa, że potem sprawia, że leje się z ciebie i musisz wyrzymać gacie. Zupełnie jak jej stary. Ale dzięki niej się staramy. Odziłam. Ojej, mamy nowy miecz w ogóle do zrobienia. Wpadł tutaj, widzę. 225. A tak. No. Platynowy miecz. Czy to jest ten miecz, który noszę teraz w łapkach? Chyba Chyba tak. Muszę zobaczyć, który mam na wyposażeniu. Mieczyk. Platynowy miecz, rzeczywiście. Tak, ja. Mm. Ja. Mm. 225. Podstawowy. Kiedy nasz po pierwszym ulepszeniu ma 210. To już fajnie. Robimy go. Robimy. I rzeczywiście mieliście rację. Ja myślałam, że ja go już naprawdę uzupełniłam na drugi punkt. Platynowy, platynowy miecz to jest ten, co stworzyliśmy? No teraz tak się zajęłam, że... Nie, jaki mamy miecz teraz w łapkach? Ech, ja i moje y, skupienie się na rzeczach. Toczak. Platynowy miecz jest tamten. Czy ja mogę ten ulepszać? Czuję, że nie mogę. No. Toczak, właśnie. Ten. Nie da się go na razie wzmocnić. Ale może później, bo rzeczywiście macie rację, że te rzeczy się tu pojawiają. Hmm. Pas smokobulczyni. No scratches, right? <laughs> tak. A tu zostaniemy przy tym, co jesteśmy. And? Dziękuję. Teraz tak, czy jest tu jeszcze gdzieś jakieś inne zadanie dodatkowe? Nie. To podejdziemy sobie odebrać informacje na temat Torgara z głównym zadaniem, bo jestem bardzo ciekawa. Co na jego temat znaleźli? Clive, where have you been? Um, I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries and. Well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name 
was Fenrir. No właśnie. <laughs> Fenrir the Frost Wolf. No. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened, just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. <laughs> no, tak, musi rozpocząć pracę. Chcę zobaczyć ten jej warsztat. Poproszę, poproszę. Coś tam słychać w tle. Uuu. Jaki ma blat piękny. It is brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. We have everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! Dobrze. Pracujcie sobie na zdrowie. Thanks from before, son. That was a good deed you did me. Only right I do you one in return. Dzięki. Though I did wonder oh. if I'd bit off more than I could chew when Mid showed me her plans for the place. If she hadn't been there to tell me what to do, I wouldn't have known where to start. A to podobno standard. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. No, <laughs> jest fajna. Straszliwie szybko mówi, nie? Tu jest rozwalona. I... A, nic tu nie ukryli. No dobrze, ale... No cześć. Zanim podskoczymy do Vivian, skoczymy sobie po te dwie. No tak. Może się okazać, że trzeba uważać. Dobra, yy, mapa świata. Thank you, thank you. Tu sobie skoczymy. Po jedno z zadań. Co opieraliśmy pierwsze? Roślinki chyba. Czoko był, bo e, widzowie o ciebie Good pytają. Faster. Faster. Oj. was easy enough to find. Now for those herbs. Mm -hmm. Zaraz obok nich. Świetnie. Straight home now. Nie, 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 nie. 
Niebieski kwiat i kolce. Nie mogę go zebrać. Niebieski kwiat i kolce. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Niebieski kwiat i kolce. Should be enough to keep the infirmary stock for a while. Hopefully this will put Rodriguez's mind at ease. Okay. To nam się fajnie zrobiło pierwsze zadanie. Drugie jest niestety nie w tej okolicy. Ło. Dobra. North. North. Lecimy teraz tutaj. I zaraz się okaże, że nas główne zadanie tu wyśle. Ale żeby tak nie skakać, specjalnie z powrotem, wiecie. Dobra. Jak tam... Aha, w sumie nie warto. Ptaszyna. Nie mogę tutaj ptaszka zawołać. O, mogę. Come on. Ne, Fly, Ambrosia. Tak. Wylecimy na pomoc znowu. Grupa Kola. Okej. Okay. Hmm. Znamy te okolice, jakby nie było. O, chłopaki, cześć. Get me back on it. Cole, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northridge. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. <sighs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. Thank you. tu od razu. Ojejku. Chodź, psinko. Chodź, chodź. They're trying to get into the carriage. Ah. O kurczę. Co on taki silny? Czekałem się, żeby się znowu uniki nie pomyliły. Na co są tutaj? To nie Spidey. Oj. Oj. No ile jeszcze? No weź, no. Oh. Oh. oh, yes. I show him your Double chuck. Get him. All yours, Toggle. All yours. Giga Stavan Avanturi. Then we're gonna go for one and then in Tokyo Stanya. I was on the map of Tam, 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 tam. Uuu. Kościany naszyjnik nam tu wpadł. Okej. Okay. Jaki obraz. Who are you? A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... 
You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. No to wracamy. Jesteś poszoczku tu, jesteś. Mogę cię pogłaskać, tak. After it. Dobra, psinka. Dobra, wracamy do kryjówki. Oddajemy zadania. I idziemy zobaczyć to główne zadanie. Wszystkie są. Nie dało się wiedzieć. Sid, welcome back. A from the dame arrived not long after you left. If I just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. Here. <laughs> Nasza biznes jest jakaś taka bardziej widoczna. O! O! Skracza czas odnowienia wznoszących płomieni. No fajnie, fajnie. O to o dwie sekundy. To też ładnie. Dobra, jeszcze idziemy tam. Gdzieś mały. Niebieski kwiat i kolce. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the usual. Oh yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is unless I You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision, a single slip, and the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death, and even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, 
not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb, knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. No, przynajmniej do momentu, aż zacznie. Dobra, czyli ten tusz to jest trucizna. Teraz już wiemy. Gdzie? I'm feeling a lot better, thanks to Taya's remedies. But she insists I rest. Dobra, na siedząco ja to bym się położyła, poszła spać na jej miejscu. Nie mają zbyt wielu okazji dobrych do wyspania się, więc. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places. But nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Ha, będziemy tak czekać za nią, tak? Okay. What? Here? Would that be a problem? <laughs> Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure. In hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! Ha 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 ha! Jak miło widzieć ich The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, uh, we must insist on substantial reparations. Uh, Twinside stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmechs empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. 
Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May, May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fists will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Uh, your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both... You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Gregor, forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. Dobra, przywitajmy się jeszcze z wujkiem.
Dzisiaj, ale tam creepy sytuacja się odwala, nie? Aha. <laughs> Czeka tam na nas. No witaj, witaj. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith to Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? Two thousand? <laughs> and I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost... Crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. 
<laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. No tak. No dobrze. Tu będziemy kończyć, a dalej lecimy w kolejnym odcinku, także dziękuję za wspólną grę. Przyjdźcie tam tej nocy i nie trzymajcie się ciepło. Jaho!